the Sean Wolf legend. We got Austin the freaking Hammer Brooks. And we got the man of a million nicknames. We got the myth, the legend, and presence. About to have a heart attack in my passenger seat. We got the legendary. He goes by Trader Chris, Reverend Wolf. But my dad, Chris Hansen. But basically, we're about to head to the Arnold Classic, 2017. And I wanted to take the GPS to go up there, but Dad insisted it be the GPS. But I might not have a GPS much longer because uh, of uh, my driving habits. But yes, <laughs> you might not have a car at all. But but basically, this year there's a lot of story behind why we're going to Arnold Classic. But this year. I probably wouldn't even go to the Iron Classic because I don't believe in putting other people on pedestals. Um, I believe only you know the Lord and Jesus Christ should be put on a pedestal, but I don't believe anyone should look at another person and put him on a pedestal and say, I want to be like him or I want to do what he does because you should try to strive to be at that level or above that, you know? But this last year was my year. Last year was, you know about me doing this and me getting that, me getting second, politics, yada yada, all that crap. But one, forgive and forget, and two, it's in the past. And honestly, you know, if if I was going to Arnold like a month later after what happened, I would have been having so much pride, so much of this redemption that, redemption that, no. This year, it's not about Cody Hansen. It's about Austin Brooks. It's, it's about the hard gainer of hard games. 2017 is the year of Austin the freaking Hammer Brooks. Last last year, um, I was supposed to take Austin. Well, a friend of mine, I'm not going to mention any names, but a friend of mine uh, took myself, a few other friends, and was supposed to take Austin. Well, Larry come no, he said that he couldn't take Austin. And they never said that he would take me. And he had plenty of room. And I was with him. There was plenty of room Austin could. Austin's not a big guy. And that's what makes him so inspirational because he's 140 pounds soaking wet. And at the, moment. at the moment. And the thing is, so we were there and everything that happened. And I'm kind of glad he didn't even get to go because all that, that work and then. And, and, all that stuff, he wouldn't even be able to do the competition back then because it was $60, you know? So they told me it was free and all this stuff. Nope, had to pay for the entry, had to pay to get in, had to pay for the $60. Uh, you know, it's, it's it's one of those things, you know? So, but like I said, so this year I made a promise to Austin last year around this time after the Arnold Classic I told Austin, I said, listen, I promise you, I'm going to have a car and I'm going to take you to the Arnold. And a year later, it's been crazy how quick the years went by, but a year later, as humble as ever I am, if it wasn't for the fact that I want to help Austin get to that next level and get to the position I believe that he could finally have that spot like that main stage to where not only can he just show in front of a few fans but he'd be able to show even possibly in front of Arnold Schwarzenegger who might be at a Power X competition and show everyone that a 140 pound guy can literally be first place out of his Power X competition and can do what a lot of people in their minds think is impossible but Austin is the true entity the true example of putting the possible and impossible. He is the living factor of beating the odds. He may not look like the biggest guy, the tallest guy, got the best genetics, but he don't need that because he has a driven fire inside of him. He has a such a passionate like drive inside of him to achieve what he, in his mind that he wants to achieve and to do what other people says he cannot do. Plain and simple to cut to the chase. If he is able to do and be successful tonight, then he'd be able to really just put a footnote and stamp and, and finally get recognition and be able to give that chance to inspire people that's in his position in life and for someone who doesn't have any, any 
odds for him. He has he's going against all the odds from all different factors, from physically, mentally, and spiritually. Well, not spiritually. I take the back because he's got the spiritual factor because you know he's got more. But that's besides the point. Um, but to make this uh, wrap this up, basically, we're heading to the Arnold Classic, and for him, it's redemption. For me, it's for me to give to him the chance. To put him on my shoulders, <laughs> to put him on my shoulders, help him reach over that wall and climb over it so where he can have the chance to be going into his own personal greatness and prosper in it and be able to get the chance to inspire generations of hard gamers and generations of all walks of life who can look at him and say, if he can do it, then I can do it. All this genetics crap, all this, I'm too small, I'm too this, but they get to see a guy and be able to lift the weight that he did and do the things that he did, they'll be able to be inspired to do almost anything if they put that concept into any other concept that's in life. Now, basically, Austin the freaking Hammer Brooks is not only going to prove all the politics wrong, and I know a lot of people are going to frown upon me when I said, but it was politics, at least on my behalf. And not only that, I am going to be there, me competing or not, most likely not, but I am going to be there, and I'm going to be right beside of him on every single rep, telling him, keeping his mind on focus, keeping his mind on the goal, and win or lose. If he loses, it doesn't matter because the fact that people would, if they are open to mind enough, because a lot of people aren't, but they're open to mind of it, and the fact that they see a guy like him having the, and they, a lot of people there will probably know that he's not, he doesn't come from a rich background. He doesn't come from all this. A guy in his position in life able to do the things that he did and was able to do and seeing the fire and the passion that he put into every single rep just to get a little tiny X a trophy, they will be looking at him that he's the true winner and he could inspire so many people. That is the main mission right here, is to come here and give him the chance that he deserves. He may have football coaches might be against him, his friends might be against him, his brother might be against him, but I don't care who it is. Everyone's going to be sit down, shut up, and scold like a little step uh, redhead stepchild, and they're going to realize real quick who is Austin the freaking Hammer Brooks. They're going to realize real quick that you don't judge a book by its cover. Read a few pages and you might be inspired by yourself to even write your own book. And you're going to write in your book saying, I'm writing this because I saw Austin Brooks do the impossible today. I saw Austin Brooks. They're going to be like, who's Austin Brooks? Here, open the book. And the, what the book says, the cover, read it real closely. It's, it says one half of the legendary duo. A legacy like no other. The hard gainer of hard gainers. If Arnold really pays attention, which he won't, he won't because he's used to seeing the big guys. He's used to seeing all the rich guys. He's, you know, I'm not trying to be uh, judgmental, but I'm just telling it like it is and real. But if he just takes one chance, one slight look at Austin, I truly believe one slight look at Austin and see the passion, the fire, and the driven that's in his eyes and see someone that has nothing and able to do everything in the world and able to be as successful as he is with absolutely nothing. I believe Arnold will step out of his way and what Arnold should do, and I believe he would, was take his hand and shake his hand and give him the recognition that he deserves. Yeah, the recognition that he deserves to get to that position and that place to inspire people. I, I'm not listening to dad. Dad's the one that, you know, my father's the one telling me how to do it. But in a quarter mile. But real quick, basically what I'm trying to say is the guy right behind me, like I said, he might just look like some average mojo. But the problem is and the thing is he might be one of the most inspirational figures in modern society. And huh, four miles circle go that way. Yeah. And um Austin, before I get off here. I mean, you're, you're the man in the spotlight. You're the man with the plan. You're the hard game of hard games. I, I mean, 
I know I might be your mouth, you know, I might be your manager, as could say. Um, you do the action, I do the talking. But uh, is there anything you'd like to say for the people who are going to be inspired? There might be some little hard gainer out there, some some 120 pound kid who just wants to simply get some some muscle tone or just wants to lift uh get a better bench or whatever the case might be or just simply needs a little bit of inspiration like because they don't like the way they look in the mirror or simply they're just having a hard time in life is there anything you got to say about your journey for the last two years that you spent training your butt off for living breathing power x and finally today's your moment all right austin the freaking hammer brooks what you got to say for your people that you want to inspire Listen to everybody out there. I'll just grab it. <laughs> yeah. Oh god, we're about to die. But uh, don't listen to people out there that are all big and everything. They might have money, or your local gym. There might be people out there big, think they're all that, but in reality, they're just big because they really don't have a life. Sorry, Cody. But at the time, whenever you really got big, you didn't really have a life. I'm sorry. You can, uh, get big now? You're maintaining. Man, shut up. I'm here making you seem like the greatest guy in the world. And you, you go ahead and put me down. <laughs> Screw you, man. I got a freaking trophy. First place at Coming to Naturals. For being naked. I'm second in nation at Power X. I'm sorry, man. I got more I trophies than you, you way, boy. Will your name be up on the board flag? Uh, uh, regardless. Don't be listening to people out there. Don't be listening to Austin right now. <laughs> I got more trophies than you way, boy, man. More first place than you can ask dad here. He's seen it, do I? Yeah, we tell you, the whole side of the trailer right? hangs over the side. Exactly. So, I'm just giving you a hard time. Dude. Yeah, I see that. After I make you sound like you've made, good. You've given me such a hard time over these years. I can get yeah, it back. Yeah, to you, but... I can get it back. Man, oh, so I'm getting smaller, man. Whatever, just finish your, your little... I was pushing you to actually do better and get bigger. Yeah, you, you Whatever. But like I said, don't don't be listening to people out there. Do what you feel is right. Don't be following the internet a bunch. I actually do. <laughs> Could you just shut up? <laughs> do your you research. You. It's just not good to want to do websites and create your own stuff. That's all I'm saying. Alright, you got road work up here. Yeah, I don't have much limit, guys. Alright, so... I'm not good. We'll see you at the owner class.